Say hello guys, my very own makeshift um, meal prep. Hey guys, this vlog, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to cook uh, my meal preps for the week. Pretty easy. I'm going to try and start eating healthy again and again and again. This is how I'm going to cook my meals. So if you don't really know, um, what I do is I prep my meals in the beginning of the week. I try and stick to it. I've done it for like a period of three months and I lost 13, 14 kilos. Obviously that's all come back on again, so I'm gonna go back and do it again. Try and maintain that healthy lifestyle. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy this vlog. All right, let's get started. So what you're gonna do, you'll need chicken, preferably chicken thighs from Coles, an onion, brown onion, um, also from Coles, a jar of crushed ginger, minced garlic, and obviously just some yellow curry paste. You can also find at Coles. Um, normally you get the one that's made from Thailand. You can sort of see there in the jar. There we go. You will also need one bag of broccoli florets, which is frozen. I normally got this because I was in a rush and I couldn't be bothered chopping up normal broccoli. Okay, here we go. So firstly, you need to grab your chicken, make sure you've washed it. Um, and then you just cut it up into fair sized pieces. I normally have mine chunky, but it's really up to you. Um, be careful when using a knife, obviously. Um, just in case you might cut yourself, but yeah, cut the chicken and put it into a bowl um, when you've cut all the pieces and you're ready to cook it. Next step is the onion, so make sure you cut up the onion. Um, I normally dice mine and then you're ready to cook. So you turn your um, oven on to medium heat, make sure you've heated the pot nice and warm and then you add the olive oil so I normally add the olive oil and coals as well it's about three or four dollars add that to the pot and once you started um, you just put the onions in sorry I just lost the train of thought add the onions for about two minutes and then let it cook um, once you've cooked that uh, use the wooden spoon obviously to stir it and then you add your minced garlic and your crushed ginger. Now you use the teaspoon to also um, add flavour to the simple dish I guess. Once you've added that um, just give it a stir. I normally leave the oven off before I add anything else to the meal just in case it will you know, like that or just start spinning at you. So just make sure you, you do this while the oven's at low. Um, now you add in the yellow curry paste and uh, once you've added that this will bring out the flavors obviously um, before you add the meat to your dish add olive oil just to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pot and now you're ready to add your chicken thighs so you just add that in there like that and um, good tip is to Keep the oven at low before you do that anyway. Um, so just cook the meat for about two to three minutes until the meat starts turning white from pink and then you'll know we're ready to simmer. So I normally leave the meat of the pot at about 10 minutes just to let it cook right through um, before I add some water. Um, so once you've done that, you just add a cup of water just to get all the dry bits off the bottom of the pot, I guess. Um, and just allows the mix and the flavors just to seep in through the chicken. 
Um, so I normally let that cook for another five or so minutes. You can see the meat isn't cooked yet, but that's why it's important to let it simmer. Once you've done that, I add the rock salt. So this is pink Himalayan salt, which is good for you. some more water just to keep that those flavors in once you've done that you're ready to add in your broccoli now normally um, you're supposed to thaw these out but I was in a rush so note to self please thaw out your broccoli before you add into the meal anyway they did cook right through so I just added in like that and what you do is just stir it and let it sit for another 10 minutes to simmer with the lid on so put the lid on and you're good to go. So there you have it guys, there's my meal prep. What I did is I let it sit for one night and then the next morning I grabbed my containers and started putting my brown rice and my curry into my containers. These containers cost um, they're like five or two dollars at Coles, which is really good because they're disposable. So once you're done with them, you just throw it away. Note to self also, um, this does so this meal does last for the week, so it can it does have enough for five meal preps. So which is really good, so it saves money and you don't have to go venturing off if you're hungry because there's always a meal with you at work. So just put in the microwave for 2-3 to three minutes and you're good to go. All ingredients in this video were bought at Coles. Thanks Coles! So there you have it guys, my very own makeshift um, meal prep. So pretty much it's just... Four main ingredients, brown rice, broccoli, chicken and some spices as well as some onions just to flavour. So there you guys have it. Nice meal prep for the week. Bye.